Hey folks, Aaron with Bush Hogging Services. We are headed out to go work on clearing the side of a road. About 600 feet, just a small job, flat rate priced at 300 bucks. Probably take me about three hours total, loading and traveling and uh, actually doing the work, maybe four. So uh, if I'd priced it by hour, then I would have come out you know, right at 300, maybe uh, a little bit less. But by doing it by the job, you know, I got the customer to accept the overall price. I just need to make sure that uh, I did it correctly. So we're gonna load up and uh, head out. Got my pole saw and a regular chainsaw, just in case, because you never know. I am still getting used to pulling this much weight. My uh, F-250 is squatting like like nobody's business I can really feel the weight it's not so much the concern about how much it weighs it's the ability to stop that weight on the road and uh, you know, I'm right at the max limit of the track of the trailer with the tractor coming in at about 9,9500 pounds and then the uh, bomba light coming in at about 2,2500 pounds plus the grapple plus the weight of the trailer which uh, trailer is at 15,000 GVRW. Uh, I am, you know, maxed out on the trailer side. Uh, I had no idea when I bought the trailer that I might be pulling something as heavy as the, uh, the tractor. I had a smaller tractor when I got started and I was pulling Sherps at the time, which are only 3,000 pounds, so I thought I had plenty of trailer. Now I wish I had a, a, a double wheel, you know, uh, at least a double wheel for, double axle, you know, double tires, uh, those are just significantly more expensive, which is what kept me from, you know, going that route, kind of, and I didn't, I don't have a gooseneck on this, so I'd have to really spend another thousand dollars to get a gooseneck put on, and then I've got to spend, you know, five thousand dollars more to get a gooseneck type trailer. Uh, it is really the right thing to do, so if you're going to make the investment in, uh, you know, doing this type of work, get the biggest trailer you can possibly afford, because, you know, you may be hauling a tractor today as your business expands you may need a bobcat or a skid steer and at that point you know now you're looking at another trailer because this trailer wouldn't haul a skid steer so i'd be looking at a an additional investment and you're never going to win uh, or make money trading in trailers right so you're either buying another one or doing a trade-in and then you're going to lose a couple thousand bucks at least on that trade unless you can find a good used one but trailers are going so fast in the central florida area i mean they're on and off the market in the same day if they are uh in reasonable condition so it is uh you know one of those things you want to keep an eye out for uh, so just a little tip think long term you'll save some money uh you know if you if you can pay your equipment off in a shorter period of time then hey that's great too uh but you know think about it this way and i could pay for the tractor if i needed to and just pay it off but why would I want to do that I've got a like a three and a half four percent interest rate but if I keep my money in the stock market and make ten I would actually be losing six percent by putting that money into a tractor so I'll, I'll make the ten percent use four percent of that to pay the uh, you know the tractor uh, monthly fee and keep the other six percent so you know uh, paying things off early isn't always the best thing to do you need to think about how you're using your money and where your money uh, can work for you the most and hopefully you've got investments and that's uh, you know doing better for you and you're making money on your money because that's how you get rich I mean right you, you make money with your money without actually working your money just is used by others to uh, accomplish things so um, we're gonna get on the road here and uh, get over to this job so we'll, uh, we'll get back to you here shortly all right folks so we are here at the job site and we are about to kick this thing off and cut some brush. So I'll spin you around so you can take a look and see what we are up to, up against. All right, so adjust it there. And let's look in front and you'll see we're cutting the edge of the road. So that vegetation, a lot of those vines there, all that kind of stuff, all gotta go. One tractor within is the deal.
I'm driving pretty slow, but you know, when I'm doing any kind of cutting like this, I want to be going slow because when you make a mistake, it's not as expensive and it's not as big when you're doing things really slow. And you know, when you've got a lot of hand movements and things to keep an eye on and you know, those types of things. Being able to slow the thought process down a little bit certainly helps. So I operate in, uh, right now I'm in second, low seconds. But uh, I mean, it's not much different between first and second in low gear on this tractor. So I just take my time, work through it, gives me a chance to see what's around me. You know, do I have dead trees? You know, or do I have other things that are going to get in my way that are going to cause me a problem? I'll just take it a little bit slower. Why is that green vegetation there? What's in there that I can't see yet? You know, that could potentially cause me a problem. So I'm gonna rip all this stuff out. Then I'll be able to see the tree on the inside and determine whether or not there's any real risk associated with that. And I can see right now, I've already hit that thing once. I'm going to try to grab a bigger chunk of vines before I head down the road to the pot now. Five inch tree. Nice and slow. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower my blade all the way. So it cuts it nice and low to the ground. I don't have to come back and do it again. Ten, I think. Thank goodness for the change. I don't know what would happen if I didn't have this change on there. Somehow I have. 
have had things definitely come up and hit the glass on the tractor. Not quite sure of the angle of attack on that, but it definitely happened. So you cannot do this with that back window open. Break it up a little Go back down and get another little area down there, but then I'll be done. Okay. All right. 